Well, the diagnosis came uh, at a very interesting time. Uh, I had the, the election, re-election I should say, in 2012 in November, and it wasn't uh, completed on the election night. We had a long count, 11 days actually, before we had the result. So right in the middle of those 11 days, almost exactly in the middle is when I got the diagnosis. So no, no pressure, <laughs> no stress, right? First of all, uh, the discovery of it was, um, as with many things, you know, you see something that's not usual. In my case, uh, there was a, uh, a blister, it felt like in my mouth, and it wasn't going away. I did some topical uh, treatments for it, and it wasn't going away. So I, I think the lesson that I learned from that is um, you gotta pay attention to what your body's telling you, and you gotta try to be on top of things and not delay getting things checked out. I was very fortunate uh, in that uh, my cancer was discovered at stage one, so treatment was uh, pretty immediate and uh, the end result was very positive. I mean, I think, you know, anytime cancer shows up in a family and certainly on a personal level, it's pretty scary because we all know that cancer is one of the, the diseases that we still haven't quite figured out how to conquer. But what I learned is how much, how far advanced we are in treatment and especially with the earlier detection is critical. And so I was very fortunate to have early detection, great treatment, doctors who are very you know, involved in my uh, ongoing care. And I feel like I've learned a lot and I'd like to share that with others that don't ever hesitate to go have things checked out. You have to find out what's going on, especially if something unusual is going on with your body. The other thing I learned um, is how important family support is and friendship support because it's a very emotional time. I mean, I, I tend to be kind of stoic about things, but the truth of the matter is that inside, you're thinking, oh my gosh, is this gonna be the beginning of the end? So I think it's important that we encourage doctors to specialize, that we provide the funding for them to specialize, and that we encourage um, hospitals and cancer centers all over the country to have teams just like the one that treated me, because it could happen to anybody. In a blink of an eye, the world can change, uh, in regard to this disease and what we know about cancer is that we've got so much good research historically and more to come I hope that is beginning to give us pathways to treatment and cure and at least prevention uh, is, is also part of that. Secondly we have to make sure that we fund it at a very high level. I believe that in the great scheme of things in the whole budget this funding is not a, a large amount of money it should be larger I believe. And then I think for members to hear from another member of their own personal experience is pretty compelling. So um, I'm not at all hesitant to tell my story. I think that's part of what we have to do in our society is not be afraid to stand up and talk about disease that we might personally have an experience with because then we remove some of the stigma that's attached to it and being, having a personal testimony I think is very important uh, for my colleagues to hear.